you're here. Also, but obviously talk to each other, but it's Yeah. So we're here again. Another episode of From the Point by your favorite point with my guy Winston. Huh. What up? Another episode. <laughs> Hold on, wait. Whoa. Why I got a handshake and y'all don't like teach the guests that before they come on? I sh- that's a good question. I, I mean, I just feel left out like it's a game now. Should we start it over? Should we? You can be part of the gang if you want. No, nah, I'm fine. So what's up, James? You good? James. All right. So basically, how this all started, just a little backstory for everybody is uh, call funny Marco. It was um, you know, early in the morning or whatnot. Who's and, James? And Marco answers his phone. And he's like, uh, "Yo, what's up, bro?" I'm like, "What's up? What's up, funny Marco? You good?" Man, what, why are you calling me Funny Marco? My name James, man. Don't call me that again. Oh, damn. J- I did say Okay, that. my bad, bro. Like, what's up, James? My name ain't James, man. Why are you calling me James? Like, <laughs> oh, okay, so what, so what is it, bro? Is it, is it James, Funny Marco, just Marco? Like, Marco. No, Marco. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so Mar- Marco. Welcome, Marco. Welcome, my guy. We're going to go back mm-hmm. in the jump. So you're from Kansas City. Kansas City. Yeah, Missouri. Yeah. So like people get, do y'all get it wrong? Cause it's like, it's Kansas City and then it's Kansas. Kansas City, Kansas too, right? N- yeah. But people get upset when you get them wrong. They do. So you're from the Missouri part. Mm-hmm. What's the difference? So Kansas City, so basically it's like, Kansas City is like white forces. Mm. Kansas is black forces. Kansas City, Kansas is like, the Jordans that's nobody buy. The exclusives? No. You know what they call them? What? I don't know. Like the ones that like that be on sale. Yeah, got you, got you. <laughs> yeah. Clearance rack. Yeah. Got it. Break it down so it's just kind of like there's levels to it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we like white forces. Like we clean, and then you got the the dirty, and then you got the like okay. You don't want to be there. <laughs> yeah. What specifically about your Kansas City makes like stands out from the other Kansas Kansas cities? Right now, it's because we got Patrick Mahomes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So like He's doing his thing. Yeah. So like Missouri, certain people like when we, it's like you can't go for our team. Like you can't. We got the Chiefs. Y'all don't have a team. Kansas got Kansas State, Kansas, all that. You can't claim us. When we at the Super Bowl, we at the Super Bowl. You're not y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else or, or just that? Hmm. I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, so growing up as a kid, did you ever, like, were you the class clown? Like, you you were the one who wanted to be a comedian growing up? Or, like, was That's that That's a just... good question. No, I never really wanted to be a comedian, but I, w- I was, I'm trying to use the right word. I just couldn't remember a lot. So when I was in, like, class, mm. it was like a lot of, like, they just threw us in school. They don't tell us why they're sending us to school. Like, you just grow up and they just put you in there. Yeah. Like, I'd rather, like, give us why we're going there, you know? It's like, imagine you just get, it's like, if they just sent us to jail, it's like, why we in here, you know? Mm-hmm. So, and it's like, it's all about college. But then again, it's just like, if college is like school, I don't want to go to college. Mm-hmm. If it makes sense. Yeah. So, as a baby, I feel like you should have a decision if you want to go to school or not. Do y'all agree? Um, yes and no. I don't think as a baby... I think, I mean, I only did six months of school, so, of mm. college, so. Oh, you dropped out too? Yeah, kind of, kind of. Mm. What made you drop out? The NBA, after mm. one year. Fortunate enough, blessed enough, I could go to the league and didn't have to finish school, so thank God I was blessed with a gift to play basketball, so. Mm. If I wasn't, I wasn't blessed with that gift. Yeah. You had to go to school? Yeah. How'd you feel? I like school. I, I was kind of good at it, so, you know. How was you good at it? Like, I just, I guess. So you're saying you're like smarter than me? Thing. I mean, no, I didn't, I just, maybe, I don't know. Does anybody have like a sample ACT in here that we can just like start taking, if anything? So how important is the grade point average? Because when people ask that, yeah, like, I never understood that. If y'all can break that down to me, like, what's your grade point average? 
I mean, I never understood the grade point average neither, for real. I mean, I know it's, you have to have good grades, and obviously that makes your, your GPA higher, but, I mean, you got to be able to get into college, so you got to have a high mm-hmm. GPA to at least have a chance to get into college. So. I feel like he know the answer. In all, in all seriousness, that was, like, my only way to differentiate, like, where I wanted to go to school. So because I wanted to go to this school in California, I had to... But how do certain- you get a good grade point average? How do you get... It's a five, right? Five is high. Uh, yeah, four, and then if you take like advanced or like AP classes, then Which it goes did. up to five. He did all that, I, right? I did do that. So if yeah. I got all straight C's, what would they give me? Like what grade? Like a three point like five? No, that's is that fake a two? He don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a two, bro. Like a two. a two. Yeah, I think it goes A is four, B is three, C is two. See, I used to get a lot of like D's and F's. So you was floating around like the point yeah, five. But I used to like, you know, and every time like my great court came, my uncle used to be like, damn, damn, <laughs> damn, damn, damn. He not gonna make it. So so if so if comedy never happened for you, like, what was some of your like backup plan? Like what else did you want to do? <laughs> damn. <laughs> like I really wouldn't be shit, honestly. And I I still uh that's a good question because I still, it just happened randomly mm-hmm. because I had a lot of jobs. Like I used to lie on my resume. I remember one time my cousin was in the army and I used his, his resume and he was just like, how long was you in the Marines and what did you do? <laughs> so you lied on your resume? <laughs> I know because I didn't read his resume. Mm-hmm. So I just put it in. So I was, like, oh, I was good. He was like, just, I was submitting it. Indeed. I was just, then I got a job interview. He was like, how long was you in the Marines? And he was like, and I'm like, fuck. <laughs> you so you, you got yourself caught up. Yeah. It happens. And he was like, what bracket? He started asking me a lot of questions and stuff, man. I know you, you, you worked at, I, I'm reading, you know what I'm saying, reading on you. I know you worked at Popeye's. Mm-hmm. You ever, so where you rate that as the best chicken spot? Because it's out there for me. You got an endorsement deal with him? Fast food chicken. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, okay. But... If I say how I really feel, then it probably wouldn't be right. If you say KFC, though, like, nah. <laughs> KFC was kind of like, for like, not us, if you know what I mean. We ate ch- churches. Churches? Yeah, and that's because, and churches if you think about it, they put all the churches in the hood. There's no churches around here right now. <laughs> no. Nah. When was the last time you had your churches? Was there one in Norman? No. There's one in the city. I know there's one in I've the city. Yeah. I've been there. And I've every been time it's in there, it's like some wild stuff going on, like crackheads fighting, arguing. It's just like you yeah. don't, you need to stay far away from the churches. Yeah. So if y'all are single and y'all pull up on a girl and a church is in their house, please leave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a smart, smart advice. In a, a payday loan place. Anywhere a payday loan place is, don't go either. Yeah. I remember one time I took out a loan and my boy was just like, yeah, you can take out a loan. I took out a loan for $500. And then he was just like, you know what? You can get another one. And I'm like, how? He's like, what you do is, y'all round the account number. You call the bank and say, hey, changed it. Somebody, like, you know, broke in my car and took it because I just had it in there. So, mm-hmm. and he's like, they'll give you another one. They're going to take out another loan. I'm like, cool. So I did that. And then I took out another loan. I was up $1,000. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, go over to Kansas because it's another state. It's considered, mm-hmm. like, do the same thing. So I was up 1500 and uh, I thought I was cool. It came back on me. In other words, he was teaching you how to commit bank fraud. Oh, shit. <laughs> Who's he? <laughs> hey, man, it's, it's, it's the, the, the brains, man. You're doing the research. Can we go back to the resume thing, though? Yeah. So I think we're talking, we were talking about GPAs, going to college and all that. For people like me who weren't mm-hmm. necessarily as athletically gifted as Trey, um, GPAs is how you got into college. And then once you got your college degree, that's how you could put on your resume and then eventually get a good job. Um, at least is what they tell us. So, um, yeah, that was that was really why I, I like school is because I wanted to eventually be able to get a good job, I guess. That's what I was told all my life. I just needed to put that on the record, you know. Oh, you want to say something uh, about your wife? Just tell her, hey. What? Just tell her, hey, like your wife. You just wanted to give, let her know that you talk about. I'm her. single, just so everybody know. Oh, you are? Yeah, very. Why? Um, personal choice right now. Mm-hmm. Is it stressful? Being single? 
How do you usually approach women? Hmm. With kindness and generosity, and I'm just a real wholesome dude, you know? All right, so I'm the lady. Come up to me. Let's play it out. Um, we at Starbucks. Why Starbucks? Just curious. I mean, you, you, you say it, not me. I'm, I mean, you know. That won't be nowhere else, really. Not churches. For sure, not churches. Yeah. So I'm at Starbucks. Uh, what's your type? No, he may be at churches. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You like beautiful black queens. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Travis Kelsey. Okay. He got Taylor Swift now. That's a dope relationship. That's mm -hmm. really dope. It is. Um, I'm happy for him. Yeah, the top couple of the year right now. Yeah, they are. Yeah. All I know right, them. So we're going to hold on. You need to change the subject. Uh, go back to your first episode ever. Mm -hmm. You remember it? How did. Uh, do you remember your first episode that you ever did? Yeah, what did you post? First episode of what? When I sit down with somebody or just Nah, just one of your 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 vlogs, like one of your first Oh uh, yeah, it was I really I was just doing random I was recreating. So I seen other people still go viral and then I was like, all right, let me do it. So and then I was doing it. And it was kind of like it wasn't doing what they was doing. Mm -hmm. So then that's when I used to do that around that time it was a lot of people doing videos like how girls act. And I was like, oh, let me put out how dudes act. So I was somebody that I was like a professional cheater. So what I used to do is I get I get a girl that got everything that I don't got. Car, money, house. Hot water. I go after them because I didn't have it, mm -hmm. right? Yep. So, and then when I get them, I go get another one. So I wasn't satisfied, you know? Yeah. So I wouldn't say I was a cheater. I just end up in a situation where I I easily moved in their house without their permission. But I was there so long. And to easily move in a girl house, you got to start just doing the dishes, taking the trash out. And then she was just like, oh, like, make them feel comfortable. So, uh, and then I was like, oh, let me start doing videos like this. Like, you know, because one time I was cheating and I was in the outfit that a girl bought me. And mm -hmm. she said that. She was like, why y'all here cheating? And I bought all that bleep for you. Oh, I can say shit. Just shit. bleep it out. Yeah. Okay, she was like, I bought that shit for you. Mm -hmm. And you out here cheating. So I remember going through that. And I was like, oh, let me do a public video like that. And I did it in Victoria's Secrets. And I was like, all right, I'm, I acted out. But the customers didn't know. And then that video went viral. Broke a few rules. So then again, I used to, uh, you know, I mess with girls that had food stamps. So I remember using a girl food stamp card. Well, I ain't gonna say it, it was my baby mama food stamp card. And I spent it on another girl and I was shopping with another girl. And it came back because she was like, like, you know, what do you like? I had the receipt. I kept the receipt. She was like, what are you doing? Like, where's this food at that you bought? And I'm like, damn. So long story short, I was like, okay, I'm going to do a video of a dude getting caught using a food stamp and his girl coming and confront him. Mm -hmm. Then that went viral. So I used to put real life situations out mm -hmm. and they go viral. And then people used to post them. And I'm like, dang, that's me. That's me. And it was like, but I was making it seem real. So nobody cared, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and then if they knew it was fake, it wouldn't go viral. So then one time I was sitting in the car and my boy was like, you got to do something with just your face. Because they used to do a lot of stage events, mm -hmm. but in in real random places where they was like, damn, that's going on. So um, one time I was like, he was like, let's go to Walmart. So I remember going to Walmart and I ended up doing a rap lyric on somebody. And then that was, it caught their attention. And then Walmart was 24 hours. Remember, it used to be 24 hours. Yeah. So I could always go shoot there. And I was like, do rap lyric videos. Yeah. And then once the rappers start reposting it, I'm like, okay. Let me go do it, like, over and over. So I was like, YG comment on one. I go do a YG song. Then T Grizzly comment on the YG post because he posted me. Now I go do T Grizzly song. So it was a thing. And then it was like, oh. So, and I switched over because Kevin Hart dropped, like, a special on Netflix. And then I was like, okay, let me write down his lines. And I go do his stuff on people. Mm -hmm. Then Kevin Hart posted me. So it was a marketing thing. Yeah. And then the first time I got, 
I remember my first big bag was on promotion. Uh, one of like my manager, he called me. He was like, I got $10,000 for an Instagram post, but it's with a waist trainer. And I'm like, what the fuck am I going to do with it? And I was like, he already took the money. It was a lot. And then I was like, what could I do with a waist trainer? Because I'm not going out like that, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. So um, I just remember I was in New Orleans and then I walked up to a, a customer and I was like, do y'all got any more of these? I called the, like the waist trainer and then she was like, no. And then I kept forcing it. I was like, well, go in the back and give me one. She's like, I don't work here, motherfucker. And I'm like, okay. This would be it. I ask people about the work and frustrate them. I want you, can you help me find it? That's how long you been working here? I don't work here. I'm, I just I don't work here. What do you mean you don't work here? I don't work here. How do you know that? I don't work here, God damn it. What the fuck is wrong with you? It kept going and going and going. And then um, uh, I was like, after the $10,000, I went crazy. I spent it. And I was like, I want some more money. <laughs> Make you make more videos. Yeah, but. You went to spend it or you went and gambled it? No, nah, no, nah, I was really, money. really spending it. Like, okay. I thought I was the man. That was the first time I ever got a big, like, and he yeah. took his percentage. That's what really, he, I didn't know nothing about percentages. <laughs> so I got like 6,000. What percentage? Wait, hold on. 6,000? Yeah. He took 40%? Yeah. yeah. Man. Yeah. So and I'm like, oh, fuck. Like, yeah. that was crazy. So, but that was still a lot of money for me. Yeah. And I went out, you know what I'm saying? I just... I thought I was the man, and I realized that was not shit. So if you were my social media coach, and I wanted to be the next Funny Marco, what would you tell me to do? First, we're going to do a contract. Okay. And it's going to be probably 60-40 on my end. So with that being said. So you getting 60%? Yeah. Okay. Just a year contract. Something slight, right? You know about contracts. Yeah, I know I know a lot about contracts. I don't know how fair that one you just offered my boy is though. But I know I know about some contracts. Yeah. What's fair? I don't know. Am I the, are you negotiating with me? Yeah. Yeah, trade my agent. So no, I'm saying it depends. So if, if I'm his agent, I may Cause the agent gotta get paid too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I gotta get a little something. I may get ten percent. How about yeah. seventy thirty? So he's the clock blocker right now, and me and you need to work. Okay, so man, how about seventy thirty? Do you really need an agent? I mean, if you know how to do it by yourself, if you can mm -hmm. negotiate things by yourself, you can handle it yourself. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you don't need one. Yeah. Not everybody uh, has one. A yeah, lot of people have one though. I don't have one. I, I mean, I couldn't do it. I would need one. You negotiate your own deals. I'll be honest. I was wrong for saying that to you. I apologize. That wasn't a good deal. That was a bad deal. It was bad. That was bad. Have do you, you still get... Go ahead. Oh, no. I was about to say, do you still have the waist trainer? Like, do you still endorse the product? No. Why not? What was you about to say, Trey? <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's Winston from From The Point. Make sure you go check out Underdog Sports, the best place to play fantasy games. Our favorite game right now is Pick'em. It's available in over 30 states, and it's so easy to play. Just pick between two and five projections of your favorite players and choose whether they're gonna go higher or lower. You can 20 times your money if you go five for five. Sounds like fun? Get it on this week's NFL action by downloading the Underdog Fantasy app and use our code from the point to sign up. You can also get your deposit of up to $500 matched in addition to an instant pick'em special and then send us some of your entry locks this week. Make sure you tune into From the Point. Peace. I was going to ask you, have any has any uh, of your pranks went sideways? Like have you have you done a prank and they like it was a reaction you didn't even expect or like something you didn't <laughs> you didn't think it was going to happen like that? No, nah, because I I used to warm people up. And when I say warm, I would talk to somebody for Walmart like probably two minutes normal, and then I'd be like, okay, I see they calm. And mm -hmm. I'd be like, okay, and then I'd just hit them with some random, mm -hmm. like, and they'd be like, what, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, and I would go up to people that probably got something to lose. I ain't going up to somebody that's just ready to, like, if somebody <laughs> fuck with me, I'm going to give it to them. Or not. <laughs> so I used to go up to civilized people, like, I would do, like, I would fuck with you, you know? And you too, you know? Yeah. Because y'all got shit going on, if y'all didn't know me. So I used to be like, okay. And then I used to probably yeah. follow them around each eye out, like, okay, like, let me see how they are, check their energy. Mm -hmm. And then I'll go up to them and talk to them about, oh, like, how do you feel about this product? And I really didn't, you know, yeah. 
get in that predicament right. because I picked the right people. Yeah. You're not just picking just, just Yeah, yeah, no, I was not hardcore with it. I was really just like so I used to do one prank of fifty second because fifty remember back in the day, fifty it was fifty nine seconds, mm-hmm. like on Instagram. Mm-hmm. So this I used to spend only- two hours in Walmart to get that video. Like yeah. I was doing day like it was a job. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I came out to Atlanta, and I went to every Walmart, and I was just doing it over and over and over, and uh, yeah. When did you When did you move out here? When did you move out to Atlanta? 2019. It was a random dude hit me up. He's like, "You got a manager?" I'm like, "No." And I came out here, and I was ready to leave Kansas City, so I came out here, and I thought he was the man. He was staying with his girl. I'm like, "Damn, this ain't." <laughs> 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 How long did he yeah, manage he you for? Uh, we was we was in for like, damn, was it probably a good. Seven to eight months, probably. Okay. Yeah. And as you've kind of started to gain notoriety, how have you felt like, have you feel like you had to like change up any of your material? Like obviously you can't walk into Walmart no more and mm-hmm. people would know who you are, especially in Atlanta. But like, how do you feel like you've had to like change like your you material? you have to change to be irrelevant. Because if I kept doing that, I'd just be the Walmart guy. Right. So with changing, you have to do that. So that's one thing I am glad with that way. Cause I used to just be stuck in that. It was so easy. Like I had to change that. Then it's like show people that you can dress. Show people, mm-hmm. and that's why I see I'm learning too with athletes. Like y'all, it's good that y'all starting y'all shows because when you play basketball, they just think that's all you can do. Mm-hmm. And it's like you do more than that. you can dress. Like you got a personality. You funny. So back in the days when Vince Carter and them, we just knew them for just basketball. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you see him like, damn, I didn't know you was funny. So it was like when you in the lane, I feel like. And I look up to 50 Cent because he rap and then he does movies. He doing, mm-hmm. he got tank tops, does he got games, yeah. he got candy. And it's like, the more I just feel like we, our fan base put us in a in a box. And it'd be hard when you start doing something that's like, why are you doing this? You mm-hmm. need to stick to that. And it's just like, people used to be like, go back to Walmart. And if I would have listened to them, I'd be washed up. Like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. So They want you to stay in what, what they like and what they see you as. Yeah. So and as soon as you start doing something else, they want to. They question it. They and then once it. everybody start liking it, they be like, oh, like, you know? Yeah, like, that's cool like, too, right? right? Yeah, because imagine if Shannon Sharp never showed his personality. Mm-hmm. We would never have like, exactly. known that, you know? So that's the thing. That'd be hard. And now that more people are doing it, I think people are realizing, like, all right, I can do it too. Yeah. Yeah. Was there, uh, was there ever a moment um, recently now that, I mean, obviously, you've you've blown up and gotten a lot bigger. Was there a moment you felt like you made it, like, or you still ain't hit you yet? Not yet. I said I want to do like a red carpet, a big movie, like Michael B. Jordan, like when I'm number one, people are going mm-hmm. to go see it. Then it's that. Then you're gonna feel. But like then it. people, it's like you never made it. We made it because we're doing what we want to do in reality. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not breaking the houses no more. <laughs> yeah. 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 But you always trying to find out what's next too. You're not. Satisfied. Yeah, you got to. You're yeah. Not satisfied. Yeah, you got to keep going and see what's next for you. That's. You can't, you, be, you can't be breaking in the houses your whole life. No, 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 no. Yeah. Where you yeah. at? Uh, breaking yeah, in the houses? Huh? Breaking in the houses? You're talking about breaking in the houses? No, no, no. I'm yeah, where I live. No, I know. Don't give him your address. That's why I asked you to go to the next question. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But breaking. No, I'm just saying just hang out with you and shit. Oh yeah. But just like not on his, not with his permission now, just show up. No, no, I wouldn't do it. No, not me. No. Yeah. You got dogs and shit too, right? Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't go there. (laughs) (laughs) Got to. Yeah. Um, How do you, like, what do you think is like the next step for you um, in terms of like growing your, not only your platform, but continue to like grow your material too? Obviously Mm. you started out with, with the Walmart skits and all that. Um, you know, I know you dabble into stand up right now. Like, what do you think is like kind of the next step for Marco? Facing what you feel like you you don't want to do. So the things that you don't want to do, I have to start doing those. And that's with taking my time to study more with the stand up, reading and learning new words and growing. Because I feel like once you get out of school, people feel like you got to stop learning. So I have to like learn and be organized. I'm all organized. So I just get up and go and my career has just randomly happened because I didn't plan it. So I just do stuff random, but I got to limit the randomness because mm-hmm. it's like, it's a gift and a curse, but I have to yeah. like really be structured. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like you guys, a girl asked me one time, she's like, do you know what you're eating tomorrow or the day after that? And I'm like, no. And she said, once you start doing that, like you're going to be way better. Like, you know what you're eating tomorrow? Me? What's today? Monday? Tuesday? Yeah, I know. What? Um, so I, I do 
I got some Mexican food at nighttime. Yeah, tomorrow morning I work out. I have my bacon and eggs, mm -hmm. omelet. And then lunch, I probably have some pasta. Got it all. But I got a schedule with the team. I got workouts in. Mm -hmm. So my schedule is kind so of So before set. that, did you have any scheduling? No. Nah, and, and even now, I'm still kind of bad with, like, organized. I'm not the most organized person in the world. So mm -hmm. I, luckily, I got some people around me that help me keep me organized. So, mm -hmm. um, But I just, yeah, I just, I mean, I do got a schedule, I'm, thankfully. Because like, it does help when you got a schedule. Yeah. I was like, you've gotten a lot next. better, though. Yeah, for sure. Real I talk. know you already got a schedule. You grew up with it, right? Yeah. I can tell. My mom was. My mom came from, like, a military household. Your so. dad was at home, too? No. Wow. He, was, he was always working. Like, he was but, always. But he got, to stuff. your mom and dad was together? Yes. How was that? Um, it was good. Yeah. It was good, yeah. I, I never uh, got to see my mom with my dad. I'm sorry about that. I got to see her with other dudes. How was that experience for you? Hey, do you uh, do you have a, a favorite interview you ever did um, with, with a certain person? Orlando Besides Brown, this, huh? Orlando Brown. Oh, Orlando Brown. Yeah, he went to Oklahoma. Oh, he did. No, he didn't. Uh -huh. well, not that Orlando Brown, huh? Different Orlando Brown. Oh. But Orlando Brown did go to Brown OU. Disney oh, Channel. I know that Orlando. Yeah, I did see that interview. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. <laughs> Orlando Brown. Yeah, it was just wild. Wow, well, well, yeah. I feel like he's changed. <laughs> yeah, he did. We probably shouldn't talk about him because he's going to come after you. Yeah, but I mean, I've, I'm a big fan, so yeah. We yeah, can, yeah, that's a good way to end it. Yeah, we can go ahead next. Okay. Uh, how, how, do you, how do you prepare for interviews? Especially ones that like end up turning chaotic. I'm really just, I, right in the moment, I just get ready to like, like I would. Sometimes I do days before, and then right when I'm in it, like 20 minutes before, it makes it more better because it's at the top of my head. Mm -hmm. And I like the freestyle sometimes too. Like, yeah. you never know. Yeah. No, that's been, that's been the, uh, the 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 cool thing with this is I've just been trying to. Do a little bit of notes and things, mm -hmm. but then also do with some freestyling. Yeah. Like, you know when what you saying? shoot, do you aim? Got to. But it's practice. You got to take practice. Like, I don't necessarily aim. It's more just now it's a repetition, repetition thing. I understand where Natural. you're going with this, though. It's like the more reps you kind of get up, though, the more right, he really comfortable go, you he, be free, you freestyling. Shoot wild. You really shoot. Like, Yo, interviews is wild. Yeah, just like his shooting. That's my point, though. It's like because you've gotten a lot of reps and you've practiced a lot, all of a sudden you can get an interview with the baby or Sexy Red, and all of a sudden they say some some crazy. Sexy Red, your type? Mm. Could you handle a Sexy Red? No, I, I'm gonna be honest. No. Why not? I have a lot of admiration for Sexy Red. What do admiration mean? Why would you say that to me? Admiration. Yeah, I don't know. It means I have a lot of respect for Sexy Red. Why wouldn't you say respect? Why would you use that big word on me? Just is what came to mind, the word. But I have a lot of I have a lot of respect for Sexy Red, though. Yeah. Do you? So you couldn't handle a girl with three different baby daddies, three kids, in and out of prison? Most likely, no. But have you tried it? I haven't personally. Have you? You yeah. have. How was that experience? I'm single. Next question. <laughs> All right. Describe the transitions from like podcasting, stand up, and like doing your vlog thing. What's the difference? Or like, mm -hmm. how is the transition been? Or do you? It's, it's different, but it's all the same. So mm -hmm. podcasting is like one on one. You got to really make that moment because a lot of people are doing it. Just make it a moment. Like, and then blogging is just like, your shots. It's like it's up there. It's up there. I know it's gonna hit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then stand up. You gotta you gotta cater to your people, and you gotta cater to new people. So it's like you can't be stingy. You can't come here and be like it's like can't come in a room and just talk to y'all. But I know everybody in the room. Mm -hmm. So you have to steal them too. Like engage in the conversation. Do you do a lot of stand up? Yeah, I've been on. I'm on tour. I go to Alabama the 26th this so, week. Yeah. I'm gonna go to one of your shows. Did you go to OKC recently? Yeah, we did. Did you find anything to eat? I didn't. I found some chicks. I, I know. I just I saw that you posted on. Yeah, it's no, it's no good food down. 
That's messed up. See, it's because you didn't hit the right people. I was Next about time to say that. You're going to hit me. You have my number. You knew I was from Oklahoma City. Are you from OKC? Well, we're from Norman, but like same thing now. Yeah, it's like 15 minutes from OKC. Oh. Uh, it's right there. So, yeah. Oh, so y'all came a long way. Yeah, we, we, we knew each other since high school, right? Mm. Freshman year. How y'all stay friends? You know, there's not very many many friends you, you keep along with you. you Trey just, a real one. Trey look out for me. I look out for him. Mm. So has there ever been a moment like he got on your nerves? Oh, yeah. Mm. I mean, how many brothers, when you brothers with somebody, I get I got a 12-year-old brother and get on my nerves all the time. Mm -hmm. We still brothers at the end of the day. Uh, wrestling, who did you look up to? What? Stone Cold or Rock? Who was better? Rock. Who you got? Probably Rock. Who you got? I'm going with Triple H. Yeah. <laughs> so you're, when you went to Oklahoma City, I loved it out there. How how did you find the crowd? Well, I guess I guess and more generally though speaking, like how how has your how is your prep different like your interview prep versus your stand up prep? Like in the city. I learn the city and I relate to them and I talk mm -hmm. about things that you know and then bring my life into it too as well. So I learn the city, learn the hoods, where not to go, where to go. Well, the reason I say that too is like Oklahoma City, there's not like a ton of information about like where we come from, to be mm -hmm. honest. And so just like understanding your audience, like I feel like that would be a little bit more difficult, especially in some of the smaller cities that you go to. Mm -hmm. Like how do you how do you how do you do that? Yeah. And they, to say that the smaller cities be the best cities because they just ready to have a good time. Yeah. So and like the bigger ones is kinda hard. You know what I'm saying? Going mm -hmm. to LA, Atlanta. So the, cause I'm from Kansas City, so OKC is right up the street. Yeah. yeah. So it's like me coming from Kansas City, I know how it is. And some small states are late on stuff with music, a lot of stuff. Like mm -hmm. down there in OKC is not a lot of BBLs down there. At no. all. No. There you go. <laughs> At all. <laughs> no, you it's came not. to Atlanta. Now there's, now there's... Yeah, it's a lot down here. It's a lot. It's a lot. And as you continue to start kind of dabbling in stand-up more and going on tour more, where do you find yourself having like the most potential in, like the most improvement in, like, That's is a good there a question? I never thought about that. Cause I'm trying to like grow at both, mm -hmm. but I know I want A's and B's, mm -hmm. not C's cause they ain't good. You want yes. a 4.0? Yeah. You and do great in all of them. I got, I got one more question. I mean, we, I want to know what your hoop game like. Can you hoop? Oh you man. Be playing? What's, so, what's, <laughs> Crazy part, my first celebrity game was at Shiggy. Like, he, he had a Shiggy <laughs> All-Star game. So me, they like, Marco, what are you going to do today? So I'm going to put up four points, and I'm going uh, to turn my uh, my uh, ACL. You said that? I said that. <laughs> Crazy part. I had no points. Beginning of the game, I jump up, try to block a shot, and I'm down. I mean, they think I'm playing. <laughs> I'm down there, like, no not way. in a, I'm not, like, this is on Jesus, the Bible, like, his house, everything he on. So everybody's still playing. Everybody, like, I'm playing too much, and I'm really, like, so this is what, have you ever toured? No. No, no, no. Okay, no, no, but look, no, let me tell you our experience, yeah. how it is. Because when you walk, it's like, it's it's a weird walk when you walk, and it's like a, it's like a, it's a late foot that hit. So I didn't know what it meant, because it was my first time, so I'm walking, and I'm thinking, like, okay, maybe my foot is sleep. It feel like your foot is sleep. Cause it's back here, and then I'm like, okay, I'm gonna stand up, and I, every time I got up, it still felt that same way. So, long story short, I end up going to coming back here, and I went to the doctor, and they told me I tore it. And I, in my videos, a long time ago, I was walking around in crutches. People thought it was part of my skit where my, I had a boot on and everything. I was like, he does anything to be funny, and I'm like, I'm, <laughs> I'm really, I'm really, hurt, going really hurt. Some shit. Yeah, yeah, so, I'm really hurt. But yeah, I remember like that, and I never played. I never got it. It's still messed up to this day. So. When was this? This was like right when I started, like 2019. So, oh, it's so this is pretty recent. Yeah. Not, not, not too that long ago. much. Not, not, yeah. not too recent, but not too long ago. Yeah, but so if you, that surgery, getting surgery on you, it's very important. So if you just let it grow how it grow, it will never be the same. So, so like I will never run. Like I, I don't want to be in a predicament where everybody say run because I'm done. <laughs> Do you walk with a limp? No, nah, I, I was at first. Yeah, but it's there. But I know the difference. It's it's different. It's like a rubber band, and it, it snaps. And once it snaps, 
It pops up. We don't really like to. Talk I don't want to talk about that. Yeah, yeah, I know, cause I don't want to. Yeah. yeah. Bye. Um, what's your rating in two K? Not high enough. What do you feel like it should be? I don't know. Have you Have you seen it? Yeah. Do you play two K? Uh, no, nah, it changed. I'm a NBA uh, live type of guy. I feel like I need to go back to that. Yeah, I can see you on the cover of live. Hey. I can see myself on the cover of live too. Now that you just said that, but nah, to your question, I ain't played it. I ain't played it till at least I'm a 90 or above. Mm-hmm. I told my little brother that he be wanting to play me all the time. He's 13. Mm-hmm. He be wanting to play me all the time. No, he's 12. So what do you feel like should be 13. 99? Like in out of all the skills, what would be 99? A 99? I don't think nobody. No, no, like in the handles. Like what would be 99? What would be 99? It strategy. would be passing. You agree with that? A passing should be 99. I would say passing, handles. ball handling. And then shooting can be I'll give you a 95 three. Yeah. Mid 90s. Mm-hmm. Right there alone, I should be a 90. So have Rodney 2K ever reached out to you? Yeah, that's my guy. I know. So why you feel like he doing you? Why you why he doing you like that? He said it's not his, it's not him doing it. It's the, the people behind the scenes that make the ratings. Oh, this is like the thing when you leave your girl, it's not you, it's me it, type of thing. Type of thing, so. A girl do that. A lot of girls do that to me. Yeah, so. I got put out one time. They used like, to do that, but now that you funny, funny nah, some go. still do that. Okay. Yeah. Not as not as often though, huh? Yeah. Have you ever got put out by a girl before? Uh, I mean, I'm married now. I'm saying a long time ago. long time ago? Um, psh- to be honest, I mean, I for sure have to have before. How was it being homeless? <laughs> I didn't get put out like that before. Oh. I've always had always. Had oh, you, oh, you meant like physically put out? Yeah, like. Oh, I thought you were talking about in a relationship. Out my house. Relationship, like, that was the last house I had. Like, all I got was this. Nah. I no. Know. How was that, though, for you? It was rough. I, I can only imagine. Yeah. I, Strong do prevail, though. Mm-hmm. That's why you're here. Yeah. Heard you. How many bedrooms you got? Um, five. Wow. They all occupied. I say it right. Why you turn to me? Occupied. Did he say it? I think he said. Can you can you say it again, please? Occupied. No, I think that's a mispronunciation. (laughs) I think it's occupied. Oh, you think you're better than me? Hey, that's an A and B conversation. I'm going to see my way out of it. What made you get your tattoos? Oh, comedy leg, like Mike Epps, Martin. And then I got like, it's a mindset thing. My, f- my favorite comedian of all time is Martin. Me? Martin. Then you, bro. Then you. You next. Look. Can you rank your comedians? Like all time? Top fives. Die line dot now is playing. <laughs> <laughs> we got Bernie Mac. Mm-hmm. Mike Epps. For sure. Kevin Hart. There's gonna be some doozy misses. I'm a some reason I really, really like Steve Harvey. He's funny. But I he like an all around person, so just I will take him out because he can do a lot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But like D. Ray Davis is really funny. D. Ray is hilarious. You can watch him because like you got to have the comedy where you can sit down with your girl and chill, and y'all really watch it. Mm-hmm. Uh, D. Ray is really good one. Desi Banks is like his He's hilarious. Shows. Yeah, yeah. I, I really I like. I need his to get shows. out to one of his too. Yeah, it's really dope. What about Chris Tucker? Chris Tucker is funny. Can can y'all agree? It's like Chris Tucker got a big name. His name is bigger than all his work. Like he has a big name, but he hasn't done as much as Martin. I agree. And Dave Chappelle too. Dave Chappelle's one on top, but they done a lot. Not to discredit them, but it's like Martin has done a lot, but their name is so big and they done they done a lot, but they done the the right stuff to make them mm-hmm. as big as they are. Cause Dave Chappelle don't have like you know that he has like have bait, but he don't have his like that movie like Bad Boys and all that. Yeah. I guess I'm just not well versed enough in comedy to like comment for oh, sure on okay. that. Yeah. Jim Carrey. <laughs> 
Uh, <laughs> you know Jim Carrey. Yes, I know Jim Carrey. You didn't mention you didn't mention <laughs> Eddie Murphy though. Oh, that's the only yeah, one you know. Shred. I know Eddie Murphy. Yeah. Uh, it's a mindset thing. Talk a little bit more about that. What is that? Uh, really just have your mind involved. Like, and start with your mind. So even with my comedy, when I used to talk to people, once I get your mind and you come to my world, it's like, don't let people, you know, don't go to a world that you don't want to go to. Mm -hmm. So protect your mind. Once you protect that, you have everything. That's a great mindset. It's it really free mindset. to have a great mind. It's free. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, all oh, like, I'm so positive, like I just stay away from negative as much as I can. Mm -hmm. You know, that's kind of hard. Like I grew up with roaches. Have did any of y'all? Yeah, at one point. You did. How was that for you? Not roaches. I had rats and mouses. Oh wow. Not hella, but you know what I'm saying. I had a couple. You had a house. My parents were split at one point. So you had a house, right? Mm -hmm. And y'all said they came from the garage, right? Yeah. I knew it. <laughs> what you mean? Okay, I, I'm a little confused. I'm not gonna lie, because we we got apartments. I grew up in apartments, so we say it's the neighbors. So if we, we oh, got we had roaches, a duplex, my fault. So y'all said it was the neighbors, then, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we didn't blame, we didn't claim it as ours. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I bet you're you look at that type of guy. Yeah, appreciate it. Man. You should own up to it. I don't. Yeah, I don't talk about that shit often, but yeah, well, it's yeah. here now. It's out now. It's out. Yeah. What's next for you? We get in the car. We're gonna leave. What is next for Funny Marco the brand? I really want to get in the movie. Are y'all gonna produce a movie? You gonna produce a movie? I can. We can talk about it for sure. What? Anytime somebody say for sure, y'all, it's not gonna happen. Trey stand by his word though. Yeah, I'll you ain't, that. You ain't no, he me. put for sure, like for sure. He said we can talk about it. He never said it was gonna happen. It's gotta. That's, make that's sense, my point. Though. That's my point. Yeah. yeah, Trey gonna talk about it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. He will. And he'll walk away after he's done, right? <laughs> no. Yeah. No. He said he said we were gonna start a podcast in, back in March, and then sure enough, them French fries are probably cold now. Yeah. It's a. Yeah. You know. You know. You're kind of hungry. Oh yeah. I, yeah. This plate is too cute. Yeah. Make sure you're straight. Yeah, this plate cute. So. I know it's time for y'all to wrap it up and y'all ready to leave. Yeah, we. Yeah, y'all got a lot of stuff to do. You a busy guy? A little bit. Not as busy as you are. I told you that food. Yeah, we, we got to go, man. Okay, y'all. Till next time. Yep. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Another episode of From the Point. By your favorite point. Peace. Peace.